this, this iMac, some more RAM, also an SSD. This camera is it a bit dodgy tonight because it has to be up there and this thing's massive, it's 27 inch, it's an iMac 11.3. So the first job is we need to get this off. On this one this is a metallic, uh, not metallic, magnetic. Um, so you might, you might uh, consider using something like this, uh, a sucker, to get that off, sucker. Um, but this one's not very good, it doesn't suck very well. And um, you really you need two of them for it to work properly. Uh, so I'm going to do it with this, which is maybe a way that hasn't been seen before. So I'm just going to slide this in the corner up here carefully oh, come on. so all I need to do is just get something in this corner or any corner but I've chosen this one so we're sticking with it there we go so just peeled that back a little bit and then we just stick that in and then just be very careful because you don't want to stress this. Oh, see the magnets there? Right, so there we go and then we just pull that off. Put it in a safe place. Right, so now we're in to the, into the meat now. So here we've got down the sides here there's one, two, three, four, and then on this side, one, two, three, four, and they're uh, hex screws, so we need to get them out and get the screen off. So, uh, what we'll do first, actually, we need to do the power on speed test. Right, so reset that. And then, three, two, one, on. We'll keep it going until the screen goes to the desktop and the bar appears down here, the, the dock, sorry. There's not actually a lot on this machine, it's got a one terabyte hard drive um, with only 40, under 40 gig used. So it was uh, quite easy to do the time machine backup, only took about half an hour. Okay, so when the dock appears, that's when it's done. Oh, it's there. Right, one minute, four seconds. So we're going to try and beat that. So we'll just shut it down now. Shuts down pretty quickly. I'm going to press the power button for 10 seconds just to drain any, like if there's anything charged up and then we need to make sure it's all drained out, drained out of electricity. There we go. And now we will rearrange. can see a bit better. That's better. Right, well here's the SSD. Squeeze and then... Now, let's get the screen off. With the help of the lovely new iFixit screwdriver set. It's just came today. Magical. And the bit that we need is this one. A Torx T10 slice to get these out. I'm going to do it with this extender bit on it just because I've got the extender. These magnets are going to be a pain in the neck though. So, four of these on each side, holding the big LCD in, big heavy LCD on this one, because it's old. They're all the same size, so you don't really need to keep track, but you have to stick to the system. And you shall rue the day. I think it's about ten minutes we've been at this now. Just started taking screws out. Some magnet central down there. Where's the pliers at? Pliers. Tweezers. There they are. Tweez. Oh, someone's put some effort into getting that one in there. Alright, we need to get the screen out now. Which, uh, there is a tool for which goes under and hooks in and pulls it up. Um, but I don't have that tool, so we're going to have to improvise. There we go. And behind it and lift ever so gently. It's so heavy. This side. Oh, this side's a bit lighter. Okay, 
now so in here you can see you see in there get a light in here you can see in fact I'm gonna record it on this that's an even better idea. Okay try and keep my fingers out of the way. So in here you've got this cable here which plugs in there and is in the back of the monitor. I think it's a vertical sync cable. Uh, for the LCD or it could be something else right so it looks like it's stuck down on this piece so we need to pry it up over there but let's pull it out here first It's pretty difficult to lift this thing up with one hand. Right, here we go. That's better. So we're just teasing that up there. And then there'll be another cable there. So we need to get this one unplugged. Oh, shit. Right. So I've propped this up here, so... I need to get this connector. Oh, balls, I can't make head. This connector here, you can see it in the dark. So just to pull out. Squeeze in its sides and pull out. So, there we go, that one's out. Here, there's another connector for the monitor, which I definitely need a light to see. Okay, we lit up there, right? So, we've got the connector up there. Let's see if we can open this up a bit more. It's, it's just a little push in connector, and then this should just come out now. Nothing else in there. Put it safely. Now, we're into the, the muck of it. Not bad, nine minutes, right? Good. Uh, so here's the hard drive. I need to get them out. Who's the screwdriver? Same size, yep, same size bits, same size screws even. Good, so we'll just unscrew these. Unplug. Might be an idea to unplug first actually. And interestingly, we have a temperature sensor cable here. Uh, there's not going to be anywhere for that to go in the new one, so it's going to be left out and then there will be all sorts of questions about whether or not it affects the machine. I doubt it will, but we'll see. There's a Seagate 1000 gigabytes hard drive. We've got Mr. Solid State, the best state. A little booklet there, if you want that, send me a comment and I'll post it to you. Um, right, screw put these in. One, two, now this is the fun but we need to find somewhere for this to go. And there's loads of wire here and there. I think that should hold just fine. This might cause a bit of a problem because it might need to be bridged or something to stop the machine thinking it's overheating. I think we'll just unplug it and see how we get on. New hard drives in. We'll be able to tell if it thinks it's overheating because the fans will go absolutely mental. Right, new hard drive's in. Uh, now I'll put the screen back on. Like that, plug that one in. Just plugging in the cables here again that I unplugged before. And this is the last one. Just so I can stand it up. Uh, well, wait, no, not, I don't think I will stand it back up. Right, 
Let's go. That's saved. That's good. That's in no files, right? So switch it off. It's going to take a wee while to make the disk a bootable USB. But then I'll do another video later of seeing how long it took uh, to boot afterwards. Right, just clean all this dust off of here, which I've foolishly got on it. I couldn't help it really. Put this screen back on. Done. Upgraded to SSD in like 10 minutes if you cut out all the nonsense. Good. And we'll get the backup done shortly. Good day.